Hi Virgo, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Virgo, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Virgo. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Cups, and this is water energy. Okay, so with this energy, I do see someone here who is very um, emotionally intelligent, very emotionally mature. Um, you could be connecting here with someone who's very, um, I'm seeing them having a lot of compassion towards you. This is somebody who feels an emotional connection to you. Um, there is an emphasis on them having that empathy and compassion towards you. And um, I also do see this as someone who, is quite controlled when it comes to their emotions. This is someone who doesn't, um, you know, it's like they're very stable when it comes to their emotions and they also don't show a lot of it. It's like they don't reveal it easily, um, but it's in a healthy way. I do see someone who's who's got that emotional maturity and a lot of patience with this energy. So they take time to open up. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this Virgo. Okay, so the first card we have is the Nine of Wands. Next, we have the Judgment, Scorpio Energy. So you could be dealing with Scorpio. And finally, we have the Devil, Capricorn Energy. Okay, so you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Okay, so I do see here there is an energy of um, an attachment with this Devil Energy. Um, this could be a soul tie or um, some sort of emotional attachment. Because uh, we are seeing here someone who is controlling their emotions. But with the Devil there, it's almost like... Um, there is more to this than just them, um, you know, controlling their emotions in the sake of emotional maturity, because the devil can speak of um, an unhealthy attachment. So this is somebody who has been knowing you for a while and they feel very drawn to, towards you. Um, I do see somebody who this person, they may keep their feelings to themselves um, as a strategy or a tactic. Um, there is almost a sense with the devil showing up there that this can come across as a bit manipulative when somebody keeps their emotions um, to themselves. And with the nine of wands, it's almost like you've really been on this journey. Yeah? You've invested a lot and it's like you don't want to give up on this, but it's almost like you're always at that, um, you know, it's almost like you're always at that place where it feels like something more is about to happen but this person keeps holding it back and it's like you're always feeling like you're on your last uh, straw this is the last um, final push with that nine of wands but um, i do see if there is a withholding of affection here it is being done as a way to maintain an attachment with the devil energy there um, however with the judgment showing up here i do see clarity truth a breakthrough is coming here um, with the nine of wands this could be you being on your last straw this is you putting up boundaries you um, you know giving it one last chance and i do see um, some sort of breakthrough coming out here with the judgment it's like you're getting answers you're getting the truth you're starting to see the truth of this connection there is something that is a bit um you know, unhealthy about the attachments or the connection or the way in which it's being maintained. And um, I do see you calling someone out here with the nine of wands, putting up boundaries and um, speaking your truth. So um, doing this is really having a positive effect because we do have the judgment there next to it, which is really getting clarity. So you're finally going to see the truth here. Okay, so let's clarify these cards for a go. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Hermit. 
and this is your energy Virgo or you could be dealing with another Virgo so this is an energy of starting to see it's like you're shedding light on something there is a deep dive I'm seeing a psychological dive here because this is an attachment that is rooted in some you know there is a, almost a wounding that is keeping you tied here and with the hermit this is you seeing things you know really facing things looking at them introspection reflection maturing as well so it's almost like you may be withdrawing from this um this attachment and taking time to focus on yourself and to you know think more clearly of what you want and what you don't want and what what it is that you're truly getting out of this connection okay so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this virgo okay so the first card we have is the six of swords Next, we have the Lovers, Gemini Energy, so you could be dealing with a Gemini. And finally, we have the Two of Cups. Okay, so with the Six of Swords, I do see this as an energy of moving on to peace, um, moving away from this Nine of Wands energy, which is a, an energy of really having to put in a lot of effort, feeling burdened, having to, you know, even feeling like you're putting it, shouldering the burden a lot by yourself, a one-sided energy, which is very um, draining, you know, feeling like you have to fight for yourself. And with the Six of Swords, this is you moving away from that. You're moving towards peace. Um, so we are seeing here, it's like you're moving towards harmony. So this could be you moving away from the connection or the connection moving towards a more harmonious phase because we do also have the lovers there which is an energy of two people coming together and it's quite um, the contrast from the devil which is two people but they usually are in chains it's like they're attached together in bondage but with the lovers it's like two people who are um, divinely together. They're, these two people are um, connected to each other from the heart space rather than from a place of attachment or, you know, codependence. So I do see there is a moving away from this heavy energy. Um, there is a breakthrough here that results from, you know, take, standing up for yourself, stepping into this nine of wands. And um, I do see it causing some sort of forward movement. Um, you guys are moving on to a more peaceful state. And we also have the two of cups. So, um, also with this lover's energy, I do see that as you guys being more vulnerable with each other, you know, opening up. This person who has been um, really restraining their emotions or keeping their emotions controlled, this person is also now opening up. Um, there is a sense of you guys getting clear on what you want and your boundaries and your wills and you, what things you will tolerate and what you won't. And um, I also do see the hermit as withdrawing, taking time away. And as a result, there is peace at the end of that. Because with the lovers, I do see a divine connection. And with this love is showing up next to the two of cups, it's like this is a soulmate connection. This is a this is a genuine connection. And um, there is, um, you know, it's like you guys are connecting on a soul level from the heart space. And um, what was missing was this ability to be vulnerable with each other. So it's like once these... Um, these guards are put down um, once you get clear um, with this hermit energy it's like this is a connection that can actually flourish in a better environment so there is a forward movement here moving towards peace so this could be moving the connection towards peace or this could be you moving on and finding this beautiful love because um whatever this transition is for you it's leading to a very beautiful soulmate connection okay so i'm going to pull out an oracle card for you virgo Okay, so the card says emotions are running high. Mm -hmm. Okay, so with this energy, I do see this as this person has been, uh, you know, controlling their emotions, but there is a lot beneath the surface with this person. This person even has some obsession, some obsessive energy. That's how deep their emotions are. It's very, it's very heavy on their parts, but I do see them having withheld their emotions as a way to maintain an attachment. And, um, you know, you calling them out on this is really bringing about some sort of wake up call, um, some judgment moment where clarity is being shown on here. And I do see um, it's like you'll finally see the truth of this person and their emotions. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Virgo.
Okay, so the card says playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to sh of fun to shine. Okay, so this is a connection where things have been very heavy. Things have been very tough. Um, I do see a transition happening here. Um, this definitely could be with this person or it could be you yourself moving on. It's like there is a, a moving away from something that was very heavy and moving on to calmer water, more peaceful water. Um, calmer waters, a more peaceful state in the connection where you can feel safe enough to, you know, with this playfulness energy, I do see that as a, an innocent energy, um, you know, being vulnerable, um, feeling safe enough to, you know, open up to someone and receive and give love with someone. Okay, so I do see there is some sort of transition here from a very dark and heavy energy in this connection. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Virgo. So the card says, thankfulness for understanding. Before we can forgive one another, we have to understand one another. Okay, so I do see there will be some sort of truth here. There is a sense of getting to know each other, coming to a point where you see this person's truth and you understand um, where they are coming from, any traumas they are, um, you know, that are motivating their behaviors. It's like you're getting some sort of understanding with this judgment energy and the devil there. You are seeing through this person. Um, you're finally recognizing something. And I'm de I do see empathy as well with this energy. Okay, so there is almost a, an understanding as well as is, um, you know, rekindling some sort of romance. Um, so this could be um, connecting with this person, but I do see regardless, you are getting some sort of a soulmate connection here with this two of cups. Okay. So that's what I'm seeing for you, Virgo. I hope you have a really, really good day, Virgo. Bye Virgo.